Gina, thank you. It's 833. We want to bring you the latest on breaking news we've been tracking out of Exeter. Crews call to a fire at Shartner Farms, of course, well-known farm stand on South County Trail. Eyewitness News reporter Todd Wallace has been gathering information for a few hours now. He joins us live again from the South County Mobile Newsroom with more. Yeah, and good morning, Danielle and Patrick. We've been going on, say, three and a half hours since this fire started at around 5 o'clock this morning. And if you look over my left shoulder, you can get a better look now of the structure that has been on fire. Still not officially out yet, and you can see the roof there in a kind of a gaping hole where you can uh, presume that a lot of the flames were shooting from. Uh, we were here at about 6.30, and we have some video to show you shortly after our arrival that we got. And I can tell you that there were plumes of smoke rising into the air and pretty intense flames, again, shooting from the building. And at the time we arrived, we couldn't even see the structure. I spoke with one of the neighbors here on Route 2 living across the street from Shartner Farms, and she told me she was awakened by a burning smell at around 5 o'clock, went to her window, looked across the street, and saw the flames once again shooting northward, of course, along with the smoke, and the fire department had already arrived. Speaking of fire departments, some six or seven fire departments have responded, including from North Kingstown, South Kingstown, West Greenwich, and Exeter. Uh, when we arrived again, you could see lots of smoke, and the flames also very intense. I cannot stress just how intense the flames were and the smoke was shooting forward. And of course, that all familiar smell, if you've covered a fire at any time as a reporter, you know the smell I'm talking about or you've been close to a fire. Uh, a little history on Shartner Farms has been around since 1902. A number of people stop here for flowers to put on the grave sites of loved ones at the nearby Rhode Island Veterans Cemetery. So clearly a staple in the community and a very popular site here. Hopefully there's not too much damage beyond what you see. But I have to be honest, just from this distance, the damage does look to be fairly extensive. Obviously, at this point, it's a little early to determine the cause of the fire. We also have not heard whether there are any injuries, but so far, again, have not heard that there are any. But we will check on that information as well. Reporting live here in South County, Todd Wallace, Eyewitness News.